Yep, that's Donald Trump. The book is Think Big and Kick Ass. Why do I say Donald Trump is not good for America in terms of being a leader or in the White House? Hmm. Well, this book is one reason. He says some things that are pretty decent for business, but not for our children to look up to. Not for our country, not for the safety and security of our country, or for that matter, the globe. Let me just tell you a little something, something. This is what the man says. He says, never take no for an answer. I don't have a problem with that one. He says, he says hire the best people and do not trust them. Can we say the word paranoid? He says... What is that? Get even with people who do you wrong. That's what he says. Get even with people who do you wrong. And of course he says, always get a prenuptial agreement. Now let's analyze that for a minute. Get even with people who do you wrong. Hire the best people and don't trust them. Then he also says he doesn't like a win-win situation. He also says he likes getting revenge. Now let me ask you this question. You say you're Republican or you conservative or whatever, right? You really think the man who wants to get even, who wants to hire the best people but not trust them, which is paranoia, by the way, likes the revenge and doesn't like a win-win. You think that that might be a good person to have access to the nuclear codes? Hmm. Or maybe be able to send your family or friends off to war? Hmm. Now you see, that's the problem. I know you'd like to call me partisan. Ah, I know you would. But I'm not partisan. It's in the man's book. Donald Trump, think big and kick ass. I haven't gotten to read most of it. But I know it's a lot worse. Do I like anything the man says? Yeah, there's some good business practices. Never say, I mean, never take no for an answer and stuff. That's a good thing. I kind of agree. I mean, I definitely agree, definitely agree with that. But the paranoia, the not, not wanting a win-win, the getting a prenuptial agreement, the hiring the best people, not trusting them, and wanting revenge... Those are frightening. Because it says too much about the man's mental makeup. Now, when you think about it, this is what I'm concerned about. And let's think about this, not as a Democrat and Republican. If he has that kind of paranoia, he wants to hire the best people but not trust them, then he assumes by the very nature that somebody's out to get him. That's paranoia. If he is that paranoid... What happens if we get into a dispute with Russia or, let's say, China or whatever, and he has this paranoia and he doesn't trust them and all this stuff, and plus he likes to get even and get revenge, what do you think can happen? And they have nuclear weapons just like us. He has access to those codes. He can start a regular war, a conventional war, a cyber war. Or one that could end all life on this planet. Now you might look at me and you might say, well, you don't look like you're all that same. But trust me, I may not look it, but I am. Let me put it to you in a different way. Do you love your family? Do you love yourself? Do you love your children and whomever you love? Do you really love them? Do you want to risk every life on earth being gone? And before you think I'm being radical... Let me once again tell you, this came from his book. He's the one who says, hire people, but hire the best people, but don't trust them. That's paranoia. He says he doesn't like a win-win situation. That's scary. He says he likes to get even. He tells you in your, his book many times, get even. And he likes revenge. You really think we can hire this man? 
Let me put it to you this way. And I'm not going to give you a pass. I don't care if you're a Democrat, Libertarian, Republican. I really don't care. Green, I don't care what you are. For those of you who vote for Donald Trump, if this world explodes in conflict and we all perish, oh, to be sure, atheists included, there's an afterlife. So the, those of you who vote for Trump, in spite of all this, let me tell you something. If the world ends, I wouldn't want to be the one that has to answer to God because you will. And trust me, you're not going to like the outcome. You see, I could say that because I know that I have done a lot of bad things in my life, but I have never even considered voting for somebody who would be put in that position who has a paranoia. Let's be honest, he has mental illness. No offense to people who have mental illness. I'm not stigmatizing and stereotyping you. He has an undiagnosed, or he doesn't want to accept, mental health issue. He definitely has paranoia. Talking about hiring him and get eat and, you know, don't trust him. He has a vicious side, get even, get revenge. And he has a greedy side. I don't want to have a win-win situation. So if anything happens to this planet or our nation because you decide to vote for this man, please don't see me in the afterlife because I promise you, if I happen to see you in the afterlife, God will forgive you, hopefully. Heck, I might. But if I do see you in the afterlife and you cause the end of the very earth, there's a good chance. I just might be a wee bit angry at you. I hope not. Hopefully we all get to paradise. I won't be angry with you. But then again, I might whoop your butt in the afterlife. You see, I know you're probably thinking, oh, now we can't take him serious because he's talking about the afterlife. Do I look like I'm laughing? You may not believe that it exists. You may be atheist, agnostic, whatever religion you are, who cares? I'm telling you, it exists. I'm also telling you, this has nothing to do with being partisan. And everything to do with self-preservation. Now you, on the other hand, what's wrong with you? What is, seriously, what is wrong with you? Are you listening to the propaganda? Are you so out of it that you put your so-called religious religious beliefs before the betterment of all humanity, all life on earth? Really? You're that arrogant. I don't think so. We can't have that. But let me give you a dire warning. If that man gets into the White House, every living person, insect, and animal, and plant on this planet is in danger. I'll come out and say, hey, if you can get in touch with Donald Trump, I'll tell him to his face. In person, on the phone, I don't care, on video. Yeah, at real Donald Trump, I'll do it. Because this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. The man himself has said these things. Himself. I mean, you want your child to have to concern themselves with maybe watching the world be destroyed? Please. On a personal level, this is Albert Tricasa speaking to you. If you do believe in any kind of God, for God's sake and ours, don't let this man in there. You know, I like Donald Trump to a point. Some of the things that he's accomplished. But if I'm being honest with you and it's just you and me, I believe this man's an evil man. He's a scary man. He's definitely mentally ill. No offense to the people that are. He's more dangerous than any mentally ill person ever because... He's mentally ill, and he's not getting treatment. 
definitely has definitely has serious mental health issues when he's talking about hire the best people, don't trust them, get even and get revenge. You want your children to know that their parent voted for somebody like that? You can't call me partisan. This comes from him. So like I said, if something happens to this planet because he somehow gets in there, all of you will be guilty. And trust me, I have a lot to answer for when I meet my maker, but I won't have to answer for the destruction of the planet. You just might.